Hello again everyone, this is John422082 and I'm back again with another video. Uh, today we're just going to have a quick look at some uh, wrestling memorabilia, a couple of things I've had coming today, uh, a couple of things I've had a little while. Um, so let's take a look at them, let's tell me what you think. And uh, before we start, uh, none of these are for sale. Um, I've, I've bought these, collected these and uh, none of these are for sale. I just, just want to show them to you and, uh, and see what you guys think. So let's have a look. First one we've got here is a... Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Boxing and Wrestling Law um, Ring Regulations uh, book uh, for boxing and wrestling from 1952. Uh, I had this actually come through today. Um, got off a wrestling collector who uh, his collection's got far too large by the sound of things and uh, he needs to kind of scale down a bit. Uh, so this is one of the things I saw and I just, I just took my fancy to it. Um, it. It's something unique, you know, it's not something I've ever read before or seen before. Um, I mean, the, the book feels real. I mean, it feels like it's from 952, uh, so I don't think it's a repo or copy or anything. Um, and there was a little passage, actually. I've only read a little bit so far, but it's actually towards the back uh, that I came across, which I'll just, just read to you quickly, because I think it's uh, quite quite interesting reading. It's on a thousand and decisions, um, and I'll just read this little bit out to you. The referee shall disqualify any wrestler who indulges in the following foul or unfair tactics. Deliberate kicking... Striking with the closed fist, butting with the head, or using the knee, scratching, gouging, display of bad temper, or throwing an opponent from the ring over the top rope. Strangleholds are also barred. That, to me, was really, really interesting. Um, I love reading that, because I think it shows how much wrestling's changed over the last 58 years. Um, I mean, we don't too much now that anyone getting disqualified for uh, going over the top rope. Uh, except for the Royal Rumble when you're eliminated, or Battle Royal when you're eliminated. So that was that was that was interesting, and it was it was interesting to uh, to read that little paragraph uh, to see just how the rules of wrestling have changed over the last uh, fifty years. And obviously, you know, back then wrestling taken a lot lot more seriously than uh, than today. But then it was presented as a sport, um, hence the rule book, um, and you know. Back then, it was a lot, very serious business, very well protected. And obviously now, with uh, Vince Man, it's sports entertainment, so it's very, very different uh, wrestling to uh, to what we know and love. Um, but still the same, a valuable piece of, uh, of wrestling history, and uh, going to be an interesting read, I think. Very, very interesting read. Now, the next bit I got actually got off the same chap. Um, would you believe it's actually a Monday Night Wrestling Mid South Coliseum. And this card entitles the holder to one free general admission to USWA Wrestling at the Mid-South Coliseum. Signed at the bottom there by USWA official Jerry Lawler. And there's his picture there. Jerry the King. And uh, I saw this as well again. People say, well, why do you want that for? And, uh, you know, I just liked it. I saw it. And, um, you know, it's got Jerry, Le Jerry Lawler's signature on, which is great. But... You know, you don't do too much of this either. And uh, that was really cool to me, really interesting to me. It was like, wow, you know, I haven't seen anything like that before. And uh, it's uh, in a plastic wallet just to protect it because it's, uh, you know, it's the original thing inside. So I don't get my dirty fingerprints <laughs> all over it. But uh, I'll just flip around and show you the back. It's all in uh, clear cellophane. And there you go, not transferable, not for sale. Um, 6233 Winchester. So uh, there's the uh, Jerry Lawler USWA pass there. So, uh Really, really cool that. Really liking that one. And then over here, just got a couple of wrestling autographs. I'll just pan out there so you can see it properly. This one's Rob Van Dam. I've had this one in a little while, actually. It's just been sort of up and around in my house. Um, or oh, on the sideboard over there. And, uh, yeah, I've just had these around. I mean, it's just some of my favourite wrestlers from, uh, you know, Era's Gone uh, or Era's Going Forward. Because, as we know, you know, Rob Van Dam is in uh, TNA. And uh, we'll be fighting the Monster Abyss. Um... And Rob it always entertained me all the way back to ECW. Always a great wrestler. And uh, I just really wanted a picture with his signature on. So there we go. I'll just uh, pan in on that. There we go. RVD. Uh, so there's the Rob Van Dam signature there. And the second one. Actually, it's a bit of a uh, Pennsylvania theme going on here. Or Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, for this chap. This one. The Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. Um, and if I pan it up there, just pan it on his head. There we go. There it is. Kurt Angle signature and Kurt Angle there. Um, got this one again. I'm just a huge, huge fan of the wrestling machine. And um, again, obviously now playing, playing his trade over in uh, TNA. I mean, this is the WWE. You can see there, WWE signature. And I think this was in 2005. Just 
just uh, zoom in on that. Yep, that looks like it was 2005 there. Um, and again, another huge fan of Angle and uh, big, big wrestling legend. So uh, really, really uh, top guy to me. Really top guy. And uh, he's given a lot, lot to wrestling. So I'm um, really, really pleased to have this uh, part of my collection. So there we go, guys. There's just uh, four things there that I've uh, put in there for you and uh, to have a look at. There we go. Just pan across the other two again. And uh, there we go. So until next time, take care.